Very few video editors know, but Premiere Pro actually has a built-in motion tracking function. It is truly a secret feature because, despite being such an important thing, it seems to be hidden behind the menus. But in this video, I'm gonna show you where to find it, how it works, and we're gonna talk a little bit about its current limitations. Let's go! First things first, as of February 2024, the motion tracking feature in Premiere Pro only works natively with mask tracking, which basically means that you can auto-track moving objects and apply effects to this tracked area. Unfortunately, you can't use this tracked data to animate transform properties, such as make a text or a logo follow your tracked area, which is a shame, but we're not here to complain because I know there are still plenty video editors out there who are still tracking their masks manually and wasting a ton of time. Let's now jump in Premiere Pro and see a much better workflow. So here's the clip we're gonna be working with. And what we wanna do here is brighten up the face of our subject to make it pop just a little bit more from the rest of the scene. To do that, we're gonna go to Effects panel and apply a Lumetri color effect to our clip. And then we're gonna come here, grab the pen tool and create a mask around the face of our subject. Now, let's go to our color workspace and do the needed color correction. I will just give here a slight boost in brightness as far as it looks natural. Something like this will do. Once we're done, we can go back to our editing workspace. Now what we need to do is to make our mask follow the movement of our subject's face. And here's where the magic happens. Here inside the mask properties, we've got mask path and these five icons right next to it. This is our auto tracking tool. If you created your mask on the very first frame of your clip, you can just click this play forward button and it will go ahead and do the auto tracking from the start until the end of your clip. Once it's done, you'll see a whole bunch of keyframes next to the mask path. Each of those represents the new position of the mask. Let's scrub for our timeline to see if the tracking was successful. Yep, it's done an amazing job and no manual work was needed here. And here's the final result. Now, what we just did is we simply hit this play forward button and it tracked the entire thing at once. But if we, for example, created a mask, not on the first frame, but somewhere in the middle, then we simply need to track it forward and then come back to the first keyframe and track it backwards. You can also use these arrows to do the tracking frame by frame, which makes sense to do if you have a very complex scene and you wanna monitor it frame by frame if the auto tracking is actually doing a good job. And if you click on the range icon right here, you can modify how the mask is being tracked. By default, it's set for position, scale, and rotation, which is the best setting for our scenario. But you can of course use position and rotation if you know that your subject was at the same distance to the camera all the time or use position only if you know that your subject was also not rotating. Now, if at any point you realize that the auto tracking is not doing a good job, you can simply delete all the keyframes where it lost your subject and redo the tracking of this part choosing a different tracking method or if nothing helps, finish the tracking manually. This tracking technique works not only with Lumetri color, but also with any other built-in effect which lets you create a mask. So we can apply the Gaussian blur effect, for example, and follow the same process here to blur out some face that we don't wanna show in our video and let the Premiere Pro do the auto tracking. Now, as I mentioned before, it's unfortunately not possible to use this tracking feature with transform properties. There are some third-party plugins which can convert mask into transform properties, but at this point, I personally think it's much easier to just use After Effects. And by the way, let me know if you guys are also interested in After Effects tutorials, because I was thinking to create some of those for this channel as well. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, you know where to write them. Like the video if it was helpful, subscribe for more, and until the next time, have a good one.